Hey there and welcome to this Resolume tutorial on Codex. For many new users the concept of Codex can be quite daunting, so let me demystify them for you once and for all. This is going to be mostly a technical talk, so make sure to pause the video, grab some coffee and set your desk chair to almost tipping over mode and get ready to inhale some knowledge. Let's start at the beginning. What is a codec? The codec determines how a media file is compressed. Compression makes the file smaller and easier to store. Without compression, your files would be incredibly large, slow to load and difficult to work with. The codec tells your computer how to compress the files. An important note to take here is that the codec does not determine the extension of the file. For example, Files using our DXV3 codec will be of the .mov extension, but the same is true for files using the ProRes codec. It's important to distinguish between the codec and the file extension. The file extension is also referred to as a container. Which codec you choose depends on your application. Resolume products natively support the DXV, H.264, ProRes and Motion JPEG codecs. It is possible to playback files in other codecs, but this depends on your operating system and which codecs are installed on your machine. Resolume Alley is used to convert your files to the optimal format for your project. In the next section we'll discuss the different natively support codecs and their common use cases. The DXV codec is used when you want to use the clip in Resolume Arena, Avenue or Wire. This codec excels at being manipulated, scrolled back and forth and being triggered many times in a row. The DXV codec also supports transparency in the form of an alpha channel. When converting with Resolume Alley or recording in any of the other Resolume products, always ask yourself if transparency is needed, as excluding the alpha channel will result in smaller file sizes, because there is one channel less to record. DXV is an option when working with Alley, using the clip render in Arena or Avenue and while recording in either Arena, Avenue or Wire. DXV has two quality settings, Normal and High. Normal should cover all your VJing needs. We advise you to use High when you are experiencing banding in gradients and subtle color changes. Do keep in mind that the high quality is a bit slower when playing back, so choose wisely. When you install Resolume, DXV export plugins for Adobe Premiere, After Effects and Media Encoder will be installed too, allowing you to export to DXV from these applications. And on to the next codec. The H.264 codec is best used when you want to share your work with others over the internet, or you want to record very long files. Out of all the codecs available, the H.264 codec results in the smallest file sizes. This codec is also hardware accelerated, which helps with long recordings. H.264 has three quality settings, low, medium and high. Low is used when you need your recording to be just a reference for later use or for whatsapping it to your mom. Medium is best used when you want to share your recording online. High can be used when you want to present your work to clients but want to do no or minimal editing in other applications. One additional thing to consider when exporting to H.264 from other software packages like Adobe Premiere is the GOP. GOP stands for Group of Pictures and indicates how many frames are placed in between two keyframes. These kind of settings are often found quite deep within the exporter of your choice, as this is a rather advanced topic that only video engineers really touch upon. What is important for you to know is that you should shy away from really large GOPs, as they will make scrubbing your video more difficult. ProRes is the codec to use when you want to edit your recording in video editing software, like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. ProRes comes in two flavors. 422 and 4444. 422 is a nice in between format. You can edit in your editing suite of choice and still smoothly play it back in Arena. The high and low settings are familiar to the DXV settings. ProRes 4444 is the highest quality codec that you can record to using Resolume. This codec stores high quality colors and also retains the alpha information of the clip. 
This is also the only codec that benefits from running your composition in 16 bits per channel mode. This will increase the color fidelity even further with the downside of larger files. The final codec as of the release of this video is Motion JPEG. This is a legacy codec that we still support. Motion JPEG is useful when you want to use the VJ content you've created in Resolume in other VJ applications. This codec is easy to scrub, reverse and to play with. And that was all you need to know about codecs. As with all technical subjects, you can go down the rabbit hole as deep as you like. But for everyday VJing, this video should cover all your bases. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.